Welcome to Superior Profit webinar, making 40 to 60% annual profit on total capital, risking 2% on each trade, swing trading stocks. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, a company based in Singapore. It is customary for the trader to introduce himself or herself. However, I will not take time for that. If you go to our homepage, then click on the About menu. You can learn more about me, the company, and more importantly, how you can use superior profit way in your own trading to trade profitably. Before we begin, let's go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In today's topic, we will look at what is really required to get substantial 40 to 60% annual return on total capital. We will find that out based on mathematical calculation. And then we will look at trades using superior profit way and Q trading system that supports the success rate that is required from the findings of the mathematical calculation. Of course, we in the end have to have the discipline to follow the trading system. And when we look at the trades posted in our traders community, we will see ample examples of trades taken in a disciplined manner. Q&A is throughout the session. You may use the Q&A panel to ask questions. I will try to answer them as I go along. If I cannot answer some question during the webinar, I will make sure I address all of them before we end today. So what exactly is needed to get this kind of return? Let's do some mathematical calculation on that. And I will use whiteboard for this purpose. We will assume three different cases. In the first case, we will say that let us have trades per month as 10. In the second case, 5 trades per month. And the third case, also 10 trades per month. What is the risk we are going to take in each trade? As a percentage of total capital, we will assume 2% in each of the three cases. For reward, in superior profit way, we don't like to take a trade unless the profit potential is at least as much as the risk. So let's say we are expecting at least 2% reward in each of the trades. Now we have to make some assumption on success rate. That is how many trades are making profit versus how many are getting stopped out. Let's say in the first case, we are assuming 60% success rate. In the second case, 70% success rate. And the third case also 70% success rate. For ease of calculation for the initial review period, Let me assume one month in first case, two month in second case, 
so that the five number of trades per month becomes total 10 trades in the review period and I can do the calculation more easily and in the third case also we can say one month review period. So what is the PNL for the review period? In the first case 60% trades are profitable so 6 out of 10 trades are profitable each giving 2% profit so 6 multiplied by 2 profit 4 trades are losing so therefore loss is 4 into 2 8% resulting in 4% net profit. In the second case we have 5 trades per month but we have 2 month review period so total 10 trades 70% trade is profitable so 7 trades are profitable giving 7 multiplied by 2% profit and for the 3 losing trades we have 3 multiplied by 2% loss giving the net result of 8% profit. In the third case we have total 10 trades in the one month period 7 trades are profitable so again we have 7 multiplied by 2 14% profit and 3 trades making loss 6% loss giving net 8% profit. So if we annualize it Annualized PNL percentage of total capital in the first case will be 4% was the net PNL for one month. So for 12 months, one year period, it will be 48%. In the second case, second case we had 8% profit for two month period. So again, for 12 month period, it will be 48% profit. And in the third case, we have 8% profit in one month period and therefore for annualized basis it will be 96% profit. At the outset the percentages look high however when we look at the individual parameters and ask ourselves are this realistic taking 5 trades a month for a swing trader that is about 1 trade per week is nothing excessive. Even taking 10 trades a month that is about 2 trades per week is not considered high for most swing traders. If we look at the second parameter accept, accepting 2% risk in each swing trade for stock traders is pretty conservative and common. In superior profit way as we will see for from many of the examples that we go through today we indeed do not take a trade unless the potential reward is more than potential risk and therefore the third parameter is also valid for our case. So the main parameter that we need to look at to get reasonably high return over an annualized period is whether we can get a success rate of 60% or 70% in minimum on a consistent basis. The question then comes to is whether such success rate is achievable. Now we will go through the trades shared in our community both in earlier period when the community was first set up and then we will come to the current period and demonstrate that these success rates are indeed possible. Superior profit way is proven as we can see from publicly posted trade ideas. 300 to almost 500% profit was obtained 
in each of the first four months when superior profit community was started and the result was tabulated. All were using simple stock options in the USA market. We can go to our home page and click on the result. If we scroll down, we will see that in January, 492% profit was achieved in 14 total trades, 12 trades were profitable. All of these were in USA market using stock options. In February, 401% profit was made, 11 total trades, 10 trades were profitable. In March, 399% profit was made, 5 total trades, all trades were profitable. And in the last month of April, 300% profit, 7 total trades, all trades were profitable. So if we compare this with the parameters that we observed just now, the required parameters to get reasonably high return on an annualized basis, these trades demonstrate that those parameters can indeed be achieved. Now, one point to make here is that this percentage profit here is not on total capital. It is a simple addition of the PNL of all the trades for the months. But if we took a small risk in each trade, then the percentage profit on the total capital will also come out high in these few months. All of these trades were shared in the traders community in those months, and these were the only trades that were shared. If we click any of them, we can see how the trades were entered and exited in the community. So if I click on UNH, and scroll up, we will see that this trade was initiated, or the first post was on April 23rd. And as is common, we always attach the snapshot of the stock as of the posting time. Here we are looking at UNH on the left hand side using weekly hop, sorry, weekly backdrop template and on the right hand side using daily hop on template. In this post, it was mentioned that signals are looking bearish. However, if the stock doesn't move below this memory support line, we are not going to initiate a short trade. We followed up on the stock. A subsequent post showed that as of that time, the support memory was not broken yet. So we waited patiently And as of 27th April, finally, even age finally broke the support memory. This automatically drawn very smart trend lines that can come from few days back or to from few years back. And that signaled an entry on the short side. It could be traded using stocks, but in this case, it was traded using simple put option. We followed up with the subsequent result. As we can see from that registration brokerage snapshot using the even age, May 22 put option strike price 115. Very soon after entry, 70% profit was achieved. In two days, since entry. One significant profit is 
profit we always book profit and make sure that the trade is risk free and that was done in this case also let us look at another case let's look at a gold mining trade Newmont. It was initiated in 15 Jan. It had a high percentage of profit. And I pick up this trade because it will illustrate superior profit philosophy in another direction. In the first trade, we observe that in superior profit way, we like to track a stock but not enter the trade unless the signals are confirmed in case of unh we waited until the support memory trend line was broken and in this case of newmont gold mining company when the first posting was made we saw that on the back side on the left hand side using backdrop weekly template the candle color was cyan that is bullish and on the right hand side using hopon template after a sharp drop newmont was starting to go up making higher high and higher low and at the right edge on the last candle the candle flow color has turned bullish that is cyan if we apply our unambiguous checklist for go with flow trend following trade this was meeting all the conditions and one could take a long entry swing trade on this day let's see what happened after that On the entry day, and now we are looking at Newmont using five minute real time fine tune template. Soon after entry with a long gap up, this was a long gap up open. Soon after that, the early range high and early range low, the dynamic pivot lines in real time chart formed and using early range breakout entry mechanism one would have entered a long trade at this point we had taken the trade in this case using newmont 21.5 call option and on the same day we had achieved 27 percent profit Let's see how the trade played out subsequently. This is chart of Newmont using five minute fine tune template on the entry day near the end of session. In the midday actually, in the midday I can see the time is about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it is not end of day, end of day will be 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is about 1 p.m. And by that time, the trade entered on the same day has achieved 52% profit. Let's follow up on the subsequent result. If you remember on the daily chart now, we had entered the trade on this candle on the flow color cyan bullish candle, which gave us a go with flow long trade signal. And next day it has hit the upper boundary. Some profit might be taken next day. And subsequently it continued to go up, hitting the resistance memory line. So superior profit away, we will definitely book some profit at the upper boundary and then again probably at the memory resistance line. And by that time, the trade has reached 286% profit.
subsequently the profit went up to 323 percent on the remaining position and the entire trade was closed somewhere around that profit percent so this trade illustrates the second aspect of superior profit way that is we enter a trade confidently when the signals are there at the right edge of the chart using our unambiguous trade setup checklist book some profit when our initial profit target that is upper boundary or memory resistance line is hit and then let profit run on the remaining positions these are only two of the trades in the first four months after this webinar is over you may go through all of the trades and see that they were all entered following a disciplined manner and also exited mostly with profit but sometimes with loss as in this case also in a disciplined manner now these trades were using option in the usa market and these trades are from 2015 when our community started what about now we continue to use superior profit way that is to combine broad market sector industry analysis with q technical analysis all done in a visual easy to use unambiguous manner and share the trades in our community why we call it a q system is because we think it is complete it can be used to trade all the major countries and exchanges using multiple instruments stock options futures etc and it can be used for swing trading long-term investing and day trading however the techniques and indicators are very different for the different styles so for day trading we use indicators chart templates and entry and exit techniques that are very different from swing trading specifically for day trading we use techniques that have zero lag whereas for swing trading it is all right to have certain lag in the indicators so that the trades don't get whipsawed i often see other systems where people just change the interval from daily to five minute for example and start using the system for day trading i am not a big fan of that mechanism because the indicators that are appropriate for swing trading are not necessarily appropriate for day trading if you are following q system you know that we don't have any parameter involved in the indicators we don't have to compare indicators to any threshold or don't have to look at convergence divergence all the indicators are consistently color coded they are so easy to read that we don't even use label for the indicators the indicators are combined into ready-made templates one for each trading task so we have one template for entering a trade called hop on other for exiting a trade called hop off and similarly more templates for long-term investment day trading etc and we have sonar to find trades for each of the four trade setups we have four standard trade setups and let me explain them briefly firstly we looked at the market and divided into four different distinct market conditions one is trending where the market goes up in higher highs and higher lows that is a trending market for that we devised only one trade setup called go with flow then a reversing market 
where at the end of a prolonged up move the market shows signs of weakness in our case in terms of a headwind signal bearish headwind in this case and we have a trade setup to capture the reversing market we call headwind sometimes the market is going up and then suddenly drops hits a pre-existing support line and stabilizes there the drop may be due to earnings announcement that was not as good as expected or some other major news and in this case in this exhausting market we have defined a trade setup that we call bounce as if a softball is coming down hitting a support and then bouncing up from that and the four market condition is sideways where the highs and lows are approximately at same levels and we initiated short trade at the top of the sideways move long trade at the bottom of the sideways move and we call these trades box trades So we have these four trade setups for swing trading and we have created sonar that is explorer in metastock or scanner and radar in trade station to identify such trade setups in all possible market conditions. In terms of unambiguity, all our indicators are unambiguous. And let me go to metastock chart to spend few minutes on this point let me open euro usd we will use hop on template q hop on template the template that is used to enter a trade If we look at this template, like in all other templates in Q system, none of the indicators have any label. All of them simply have consistent color coding and the indicators, visually speaking, belong to two categories. Some of them are line indicators. For them, all we need to decide is whether they are going down, which is bearish going up which is bullish and if it is going sideways it is neutral then we have non-line indicators this may be drawn as bars as dots as candle color as diamond or in other templates up arrows and down arrows for such non-line indicators all we need to decide is the color of the indicator so red again means bearish red or magenta indicates bearish cyan or green indicates bullish and yellow indicates neutral if you now look at all the indicators you will know that they can be individually interpreted in an unambiguous manner and therefore the whole chart template as a whole can be interpreted in an unambiguous manner as well for example if we look at the right edge of the chart euro usd pair we see right from the traffic light color to the flow candle color to the movement with three components acceleration speed momentum and the activity all are colored red or magenta 
that is bearish and it is also shown in the corner panel with a bear symbol on top of that the white line the magenta line cyan line and also the relative performance line in this case all are tilting down they are all bearish it is very easy and also unambiguous not only to read the chart in the middle but more importantly read it at the right edge of the chart by the way just two days ago euro usd had hit a resistance line that is the slow direction line very slow direction line white color and it had displayed the bearish headwind signal the reversal signal that i mentioned earlier and a bearish trade could be taken right on that day and by now in two days time we have covered more than the risk distance and if it could be booked now this is not a hypothetical trade if we look at our community traders community where many trade ideas are shared not only by me but fellow traders from all over the world in different categories you will see that under the category of quiz we had shared the trade idea on euro usd two days ago and again as is common in our trades we always store the snapshot as of that time to explain the exact entry and exit mechanism of the trades as of that day this is exactly how euro usd looked like on the left hand side using weekly backdrop template we see that the candle was bearish shape with a long upper tail on the right hand side using daily hop on template we see that it was coming down from the white slow very slow direction line at which point it was also coming down from this watermark level effectively constituting a fake upside breakout where Euro USD tried to go up above the watermark level and very next day it came down. All this happened while the bearish headwind signal came. And now if we had compared these signals with the unambiguous checklist for headwind trend reversal trade, at the right edge we could decide that a valid headwind signal has appeared and we could take a shot right at that point and as we saw from live meta stock chart as of today that trade worked out pretty well so we came here to illustrate the point that all the indicators in Q trading system are easy and more importantly unambiguous to use at the right edge of the chart and they are combined into unambiguous checklists you may access the checklist either from the detailed books or going to our home page going to education and swing trading Here we have put together the checklist for all the four standard trade setups. Go with flow for trend following. And we have one checklist for long, one checklist for short trade, then other checklists for headwind, trend reversal long, short, 
sideways market, box long and box short, and exertion based, bounce long and bounce short trade. Our traders use these indicators, chart templates, trade setups, and the unambiguous checklists every day. The same was done earlier when we posted the USA market option trades, and the same is being done today in multiple forums in our traders community, trade ideas, quiz playground, like the Euro USD trade, and also in Signals Forum. What is Signals Forum? This is a category that was set up for hand-holding new Q-technical traders. It's subscription-based, shows in detail how exactly Q-system and superior profit way is being used by experienced Q-traders. We invited number of traders to watch over our shoulders. For two months since beginning, this is the result. Total 11 trades were taken, 8 or 73% closed at profit target, and 3, 27% closed at pre planned stock level. How the trades were shared, entered, and exited? The trades were entered by making decisions at the right age using superior profit way, using Q system, again, just like the way we shared the Euro USD trade. Q chart at the time of entry was always attached. Trades were exited either at profit or stop level. And these were stock trades or ETF trades. So trades were also exited in case of stock just before earnings if neither profit nor stop was hit by that time. In other words, when swing trading stocks, we would not like to gamble by holding a trade across the earnings announcement. That discipline was followed in all these trades. Trade closing charts were also attached. Now let us go through all of these signal forum trades, 11 of them, one by one, and explain how the key indicators and the templates, chart templates, and the trade setups were used in each of them. For that, we will go to our forum and the signals page. If we go to community, category, Scroll down to the USA stock ETF option signal category and click on new. Then it will sort all the trades from earliest posting to the latest posting date. And now we will go through each of them one by one. Let me scroll down and go to the first trade. This was square. It was posted originally in January 23rd. And since then we have crossed about two months time. So let us go through all these 11 trades in the two month period, starting with square. This was a go with flow trend following short trade at pendulum high. While going through the trades, I will also comment on the different indicators and the charts that were used. As you can see, unlike in the trade ideas and quiz playground forum, we provide a little bit more detail here for hand-holding the new key technical traders. However, 
if you are using the queue system for one week or so attending this kind of live classes going through all the materials in the education center by visiting the education menu you really don't need to subscribe to this hand holding forum let's now go through each of the trades when we first shared the trade on SQ, that is Square, a credit card processing company. On the left hand side, we are looking at weekly backdrop template. We observe that bearish headwind had appeared successive times, and on the right edge, the candle backdrop color has turned bearish, and on top of that, a bear release signal bearish red color has appeared. At the same time, the relative performance was tilting down. We looked at the daily chart and saw that it is making a lower high with a candle flow color magenta that is bearish and it just broke a memory support line. So if we are going to take the trade, we needed to book profit quickly with initial target at the next memory support line. That was how the trade was decided at the point of entry. How was it identified? It was identified by running sonar, that is go with flow, short sonar on a list of stocks that we track. You can use your own list of stocks be it in US market, Australia market, Singapore, or any other market. Let's see how the trade played out. We did look at some other charts, but in saving time, I will not go through all the charts that we looked at when the entry was made. In this case, it is showing that while we were taking a short trade at the right edge, SQ also hit a long time peak and started to decline from there. Following up on the result, we see that the trade entry decision was made at this point and subsequently SQ in daily chart couldn't go up but came down and at the right edge went below the memory support at that time and also hitting the ascending yellow direction line. So we would book profit at this point and clearly much more than risk amount was covered by profit in this trade. Let's go to the next trade that is mankind it's a drugs company when the post was originally shared we saw that mankind had made a bottom in the weekly chart using backdrop template a bullish headwind had appeared and since then gradually it was going up. In the daily hop on chart we saw that it made a higher high, came down, was being supported by memory support and at the right edge tilted up with a cyan color bullish flow candle. This was also identified using Q sonar relative performance was going up so mankind was outperforming the market and we decided to take a long position with profit target near the resistance memory and the upper boundary which were at the same level and stop just below the memory support Remember, we use hop off template 
to decide the stop level our trade entry on the hop off template was on this day the stop was decided using q protection level that is at this level for a few days the stock went sideways and instead of hitting our profit target at the memory resistance or upper boundary it came down and hit the stock level and as disciplined trader the trade was exited at that point let's look at the next trade this was anh it's a trend following trade go with flow and again in short direction when we initiated the trade idea this is how the chart looked like in weekly backdrop template it had created a high at a pre-existing high watermark level displayed bear release signal and was going down at the right edge the backdrop candle color was magenta bearish and the relative performance was tilting down that is bearish as well in the daily chart using hop on template price started making lower high at the right edge it broke the memory support line having a bearish flow candle while the relative performance was sharply tilting down that is bearish as well so this met all the requirements of go with flow short trade and the trade was initiated If we look at the hop off template where we decide the stop loss, then as of entry time, our stop loss was entry day was this magenta candle, and our stop loss would be around this level using the Q protection point. It did go very close to the next support memory. We could have taken profit if the support memory level was hit. And probably some alert Q trader had booked profit, but those who placed a GTC order at the memory support level, good till cancelled order, the order was not executed. Instead, ANH went up, hit the stop level, and again the trade was exited at the stop level. So sometimes the trades exited with profit sometimes as we see it exited with loss but in all cases the trades were executed in a disciplined pre-planned manner let's look at the next trade on a toy company jakk by the way though i am sharing mainly q technical charts for many of these trades we also looked as look at broad market sector and industry analysis sometimes the trades were identified with sonar first and then we looked up the sector industry information that is bottom up way and sometimes we looked at sector industry analysis first and then tried to identify stocks in those sector industries going in the same direction as the industry jack was identified in that way jakk that's a top down approach but for this session we'll be looking mainly at the q technical charts when the trade idea was first posted we saw that jakk had dropped a lot made a double bottom a bullish headwind had appeared a while ago at the right edge, the candle was very bullish in shape with lower tail and the bull release signal had also appeared. Price tried to go down with heavy activity but reverse direction, activity color changing from red to green 
and both down move and then the subsequent up move were with heavy activity potentially indicating that the sellers were getting exhausted in the daily chart using hop on template we can again see the double bottom at the watermark low level at the right edge of the chart a bullish headwind diamond has appeared while the candle had broken the memory resistance and the candle flow color has turned bullish that is cyan so this was a valid headwind or box setup trade and the trade was initiated at this point in the long direction how the trade played out soon after the trade was entered jakk went up broke one memory resistance line and hit another memory resistance line near upper boundary those are exit points for swing long trades and we booked profit at that point so as you can again see either in the profit direction or in the stop loss direction we decide those levels while entering the trade and we disciplined exit trade either at stop or pre-planned profit target let's look at the next trade tether this was a bounce short trade when we first shared the trade in the weekly chart we see that price came to a long term coming back from many months ago a memory resistance line and price was tilting down in the daily chart using hop on template we saw again a memory resistance line from where price was tilting down while the bearish headwind signal had appeared and price seemed to be reverting reversing after a very high activity day potentially indicating exhaustion of buyers this met all the requirements of headwind short trade and the short trade was initiated analyzing it right at the edge of the chart after entry we see that after the headwind short entry using the headwind signal tether had gone down some profit could be booked even at the cyan direction line by that time the risk distance was covered remember well we we'll, while we went through the mathematical calculation we wanted every trade to have potentially as much reward as we took risk in that trade so all these trades demonstrate the point when we hit the cyan direction line here already the reward had exceeded the risk and some profit could be taken some of superior profit traders don't book entire profit they let profit run on partial position and use the q protection signal as trailing stop and may book profit on remaining position at a later point similar to the gold mining company option trade that i shared earlier so in this case for tesar the trade worked out well and we booked profit some profit at initial target and more profit as the stock started going down this was tesar let's look at the next trade this is a technology hardware company which is hpq
when we first shared the trade this is how the charts look like price had made a long up move in the weekly backdrop template how far was going sideways inside a triangle pattern supported by support memory at the bottom and resistance memory at the top at the right edge of the chart the price made a bearish shape with a long upper tail and it seemed that it is coming back inside the memory resistance line in the daily chart using hop on template we saw that price had come to a longer term watermark high level and tilted down from there with a very bare shaped candle now if we look at the checklist none of the standard trade setups were met but by looking at the multiple memory resistance lines in weekly and the bearish shape in the daily we thought of initiating a short trade for a beginning q trader i suggest not to improvise such trades but to stick to the standard checklist but as you get more experienced and more importantly as you keep tracking a fixed number of stocks over and over you start to get a feeling of the stocks and may take a trade like was in this case what happened after we initiated the trade we can see from the hop off template this is the bearish shape candle on which day the trade idea was shared after that hpq hewlett packard went down a little bit but then went up this long candle day was the earnings day so just before that on this yellow candle the trade was exited as i mentioned earlier in swing stock trading we exit a trade either at profit target or at stop loss level if they are hit and if none of them are hit and earnings announcement is coming we exit the trade before earnings is announced so as not to gamble with our money through the earnings and following that discipline the trade was exited on this yellow candle with small loss let's look at the next trade that was a biotech put option using xbi etf this is the only trade in this 11 that we suggested using options all the other 10 trades were suggesting using stock of course it is a personal preference of the trader one could use either put option call option or long short trade for all these setups when we shared the xbi trade in the weekly chart using backdrop template we saw that earlier a bearish headwind had appeared from which price fell significantly that high created a watermark high level price came back to that and tilted down from there while a bear release signal had appeared in the daily chart using hop on template we again saw a bearish headwind signal as price went up above the high watermark level one memory support line was broken the last candle was bearish shape with upper tail and if it went down little bit more it would have constituted a fake upside breakout where price tried to go above the watermark level and came right back in based on these signals we initiated a bearish trade however in this case we suggested using put option with profit target at 25 50 100 percent levels
soon after we entered the tray, which was based on this bearish headwind signal, XBI fell, our trade had more than 25% profit using put option and profit was booked. If somebody booked partial profit, then as is in superior profit way, one would have put stop to make the entire trade risk-free from that point onward. So even if subsequently XBI went up, which happened in this case, the entire trade will still have profit as a whole. Again, this trade hit the profit target, at least the first profit target of 25% soon after entry, as the headwind signal correctly predicted the potential down move from the top. Let's look at the next trade. This was on an auto company, Tesla. When we initiated the trade, this is how the chart looked like. In the weekly chart using backdrop template, we noticed that earlier, long time ago, a bearish headwind signal had appeared from where price dropped significantly. And now at the right edge of the chart, price came near the watermark level, high watermark level that was created by the earlier bearish headwind. Price tried to hit that and tilt down at the right edge. At the same time, it was tilting down from a memory resistance line coming from far back. The right edge candle was very bearish in shape with upper tail. And we saw that while price was reversing, there was very high activity signaling potential exhaustion of buyers. In the daily chart using Hopon template, price had a long up move since December 2016. However, at the right edge, we saw price was struggling to go up, seemed to make a lower high and was tilting down. We initiated a bearish call on this trade and let's see how it played out. This was right at earnings time after the earnings was announced. And while there were other analysts suggesting to go long and predicting much higher price of Tesla, as a swing trader, we trusted our eyes and initiated the short call. And very next day, Tesla fell with a gap down. If you were following Tesla, you would have noticed that after earnings in the overnight market, pre-market session, Tesla actually went up initially, but then at the next day's market open, opened with a gap down. If we follow up on Tesla's move, and this time using hop on temp, hop off template, we will see that since we initiated the short call, it had a gap down day where price closed at very low point of the day. Some profit could be booked on that day itself. More than risk distance was clearly covered. Subsequently, price went and hit the ascending yellow slow direction line, another profit target for us. One could book additional profit at the yellow direction line and use the Q protection signal to protect any remaining position. So this trade again using Q charts exited with profit. Let's look at the IBM go with flow short trade.
when we posted it initially we suggested to go with the short trade if and the if was if the memory resistance sorry memory support line was broken we saw at that time in the weekly backdrop template price had a long move up but for several weeks it was not able to go up but moving sideways in the daily chart using hop on template ibm was inside a triangle pattern surrounded by resistance memory at the top and support memory at the bottom price was at pendulum high indicated by the thumbs down it had several bear release signals so we decided to short it provided the memory resist sorry, memory support was broken that could be done using a gtc stop entry trade let's see how the entry and subsequent exit happen a few days after our initial bearish call we saw price broke below the memory support that's why we don't see the memory support anymore so trade was initiated on this day and very next day price hit the support memory that is our swing trade exit point and profit was booked at this point again in a disciplined manner at pre-planned exit level we have three more trades one is trade on apple this was a short trade using double headwind and bear release after being considerably over stretched on the upside that is overbought however like in another trade that i shared this was not using any of the standard setups probably but let us look at the signals that were used to initiate the trade on the weekly chart using backdrop template we saw that price was going up almost in a vertical line but at the right edge at the right edge it had tilted down and the weekly backdrop color changing from cyan bullish to yellow at the right edge at the same time in daily chart we saw after being overbought indicated by this cyan and green stretch signal after being overbought for a long time it was displaying successive bearish headwind signal while price broke below the support memory so we thought of initiating a short trade however because apple was very strong in these charts we decided to book profit quickly if it hit the next direction line the sign direction line and put stop just above the recent high let's see how the chart played out soon after our entry using this bearish headwind signal in couple of days it hit our profit target the cyan direction line and profit was booked at that point next trade is on an etf swing short trade it was shared as a potential trade potential trade again mentioning that we will initiate the trade only if the support memory is broken when we shared the trade idea in weekly backdrop template after being 
over pot or over stretched to the upside for a long time, the ETF XLK, the backdrop candle color changed from cyan bullish to yellow neutral. In the daily chart using Hopon template, it had displayed two bearish headwind signals and price was resting just at the memory support level. So we shared the idea saying that we will initiate a short trade only if price goes below this memory support, similar to the IBM case. Let's see what happened after that. Price did not close below the memory support line. Instead, it was forming candles with bullish shape, that is lower tail, and we decided not to enter the trade again following pre planned trade decision. The last trade that was shared in the signals forum was on March 17. So the total duration of all the trades was about two months, slightly less than two months. This was again based on industry sector analysis, where on that day, on the sonar using trade station, we saw that multiple banking stocks starting from Bank of America to Goldman Sachs were showing potential Q go with flow that is trend following short entry indicated by the magenta color. So we looked up the chart of few of the financial companies and this is Bank of America as of that day. Using the weekly backdrop candle we observed that a bearish headwind had come few weeks ago and at the right edge it was turning magenta bearish color with a bear, bear release signal coming in the chart. In the daily hop on template we saw a bearish headwind had appeared few days ago price couldn't go above that high watermark level instead a memory resistance formed and at the right edge price tilted down with magenta flow color and it went below both the direction lines cyan magenta relative performance was tilting down that is also bearish so we initiated a go with flow trend following swing short trade And in two days, since our entry signal, it hit the lower boundary, the yellow ascending direction line, as well as the memory support level. So the trade was easily exited at a profit that was much higher than the risk taken in the trade. So out of these 11 trades that were posted in a period of two months, we saw that three of them exited with loss, that is Mankind, HPQ, which we exited just before earnings, and ANH, which almost hit target but didn't quite reach it, so we had to exit it at stop loss level. All the other eight trades exited with profit, and one trade we decided to stand aside that is the XLK trade, where it didn't really close below the support memory to initiate the trade. So we see from all these trades that by trading in a disciplined way, we could achieve more than 70% success rate we saw from earlier option trades that even 90 to 100% success rates are achievable at some times. 
but it is difficult if not impossible to achieve that 90 to 100 percent success rate in all trading periods and that is not also required what we saw from the mathematical calculation is that all we need for stock swing trading is to achieve a success rate of 60 to 70 percent and then take trades with discipline risking only small that is two percent in each trade these were the trades that i shared from the signals forum but there are many more trades that are being shared in the other forums on a regular basis like the euro usd trade that i explained or many other trades for which you can go to the community page click on topics to see all the trades or go to categories to see the trades under different categories there are trade examples not only for swing trading there are trades also for day trading and long term investment in this forum you may learn about these signals charts trade setups more from our education center where we have put together videos books blogs live classes like this and more that is all that i plan to share in today's session i welcome you to look at the material in the education center and especially register for the live classes the next session coming is the weekly market roundup that we conduct every week using live system to look at broad market sector and industry analysis you may register for that by clicking here and you may learn more about our broad market view that we update every week using NYSE and NASDAQ broad market composite indices and the market internals of new high low advanced decline up down volume for more about the sector and industry analysis from sector industry page where we analyze 10 sectors and 160 industries on a weekly basis and create a heat and ranking map of them all the materials in the education center is open to public free for all and dedicated to the disciplined trader inside you and i hope you will make good use of this just as you may make good use of the trades shared in the traders community thanks to all of you again for taking time to attend this webinar i look forward to seeing you again 